Averting or undoing a commit is very common in a Git project. It is common yet confusing for many. Let's learn Git revert command in a simple way. So we are going to learn below topics in this video. What is a Git revert command and how does it work? How to revert a single commit? How to revert multiple commits? How to revert multiple commits in a range? And how to revert already pushed commit to a remote repo? And what is use of no hyphen commit or hyphen n? option in git revert command. I am Amud and welcome to my youtube channel retarget common. I am going to create a new directory using the make dir command. Left hand side you can see one folder has been created. Let's go inside using the cd command. I will go here as well. This is a normal directory now. To use the git command on this directory I need to make this directory as a git repository. For that I will use the git init command. Left hand side you can see we have dot git folder created. Let's add an empty file using the touch command. So touch file a dot txt. If I run the git status command it will show me I have one untracked file. So let me commit this using the git commit hyphen m pass first commit added file a. Any meaningful message we should give. Okay so I made the mistake before committing I need to make the untracked file as a git tagged file. For that I need to use git add command use the file name. Now I need to use the commit command. So now you can see commit is successful and if I do git log one line we can see we have one commit now. Let me quickly create two more commits for file b and file c. So after creating three commits we have three commits in the log and left hand side also we can see three files. Now you realize that files is not required. That means you want to undo your changes. So one option you have delete the files manually and create a new commit. But that option is not good always. Suppose files has a lot of code and you might not remember what are the things you have changed. So instead of doing the undo manually we can use the git revert command. We know that this commit is responsible to add the file C. So we can explicitly revert that commit and we have a command git revert. This command takes the commit id that means use git revert and pass the commit id and hit enter. So you can see it is saying that waiting for your editor to close the file and you can see notepad plus plus is open and whatever default editor you would have set during the installation and later point of time it will open the same editor. Now you might be thinking why it is asking me to provide the commit message. Generally we provide the commit message when we perform some changes and those changes we want to commit. Git revert is not actually deleting that commit. Git revert will remove all the changes performed as part of the commit which we want to revert. So in this process git revert will create some changes in the directory or files. So if there is new changes obviously we need to commit. So git revert command will revert those changes but you need to explicitly provide the commit message. So in this editor you can see this is the default commit message and it takes by default revert keyword and then it has the commit which we used for the third commit. If you see this git log one line here we have the actual commit message. So it is saying that we are reverting this commit. That's why revert and that commit. So just for the simplification purpose I am going to use removed file C. Save and close it. Automatically git bash will come to know and revert will be successful. Left hand side you can see we don't have file C. And if I do git log one line here we will have new commit created. Earlier we had only three. Now we have one more. And this commit was created because we reverted the third commit. So git revert is not going to delete the commit history. And this is more preferable option if you want to go back at any point of time. That means you realize that you required the file C. So instead of doing all those changes again, we can simply revert this commit which was responsible to remove the file C. So whenever we are reverting the latest commit. So we can pass either commit ID or we can use the head. Means use the git revert and use head. This is same as this one because 
head is always pointing to to the latest commit if we hit enter it will open the editor it is saying that reverting removed file c add a proper commit message like added file c again save it close it and if you see the log this time we have total five commits and file c is back it's not mandatory that you need to revert only the latest commit you can revert any commit you just need to pass that commit id as of now i have not push this changes to a remote repository so i am going to create a new repo in my github so click on new keep some repository name it will be a public one click on create repository now we got the repository url so copy it and we need to use the command git remote add origin then pass the url now let's use the push command to push all the commits so use git push hyphen u origin master it might ask you the authentication so you need to pass the access token and if i refresh this repository then i should see my files here and here we have total five commits now let's see how to revert already pushed commit so do you think there will be some another concept no concept is same let's do git log command again and this time i want to revert second commit which is responsible to add the file b so we need to follow the same process git revert use the commit id enter pass the proper commit message like removed file b save and close so left hand side you can see file b is deleted but if you go to your remote repository here you will have all three files why because a new commit has been created using the git revert but that commit get to post to the remote repository so if i do the git status command it says that you branch is ahead of origin master by one commit we have total six commits but in master we have only five commits use the git push so it is going to push the latest commit and it will delete the file from remote as well now so here you can see there is no file b we can also revert multiple commits together so there also we have two approaches first one we can pass individual commits id using the space with the git revert command or we can use the range for an example I want to revert first two commits. So use the git revert and pass this commit ID. Use the space and pass the second commit ID. Since we are removing two commits, so individual commits will be reverted one by one. So it will open two times editors and also it will create two new commits for each commits to be reverted. Let me hit enter. So first time it is opening the editor. It is saying that revert remote file B. And if you see the git log, it is removing the first one. So this time I'm not going to change any commit message. Simply close it. Automatically it will be done. Now it is opening the editor for the second commit. What was the second commit ID? ED. ED is for edit file C again. So here you can see revert edit file C again. So again I am not going to change anything and simply close it. It will take the default value and commits will be reverted. And if I do git log again, I will see two new commits. So at this point we have the origin master and now we have two more new commits. So removing the multiple commits will be easier by passing multiple commits ID when we have two, three or four. But when we have more commits, then it is not possible to provide the commits ID for each commit. So instead of passing the individual commits ID, we can use the range. For an example, I want to remove first three commits. So instead of passing these three commits individually, we can use range here. So use the oldest commit first. Since I need to remove first three commits, so I need to start from here. So first pass this one, which will be the oldest commit. Then use the dot dot. Then pass this commit ID till where you want to revert. So we are expecting it is going to revert total three commits. So three times editor will be open. So first it will revert this commit, then this, then this. Let me hit enter. So here you can see it is showing the default revert message like revert, revert edit file C again. So if you see, this is the commit message for the first one. From the top it is removing. So let's don't change anything and simply close the editor. It will take the default commit message and revert will be successful. Again it will open another editor because total three commits to be reverted. So here you can see revert, revert, removed file B. And if you see here it is second one. Again I am not going to change the commit message. Close the editor. It will be done. Now it is opening the final editor. It is saying that revert, removed file which is your third one which I want to revert. Let's not change the commit message. Close the browser. Close the editor 
user and revert is successful and if i do git log we can see it has created three new commits which are here so when we are running git revert command automatically it is asking you to provide the commit message but you don't want that you explicitly want to make some more changes before committing it again for that we can use hyphen n or hyphen hyphen no hyphen commit so let's use hyphen n and pass the commit id so now let's revert the first commit since i'm using hyphen n it is not going to ask me to enter the commit message hit enter you can see we just see the reverting and if i run the git status here it is saying that you are currently reverting commit and if you see the local file directory here i don't have file a because that has been deleted but that deletion has not been committed yet so here it is giving you option to do more changes before committing finally so that's all in this video if you have any doubt please comment on this video if you really like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others thank you everyone